When you think of supercar or hypercar, images of speed, luxury and power probably come to mind. But what about safety? Supercars and hypercars often cost millions of dollars and their engineering is usually focused on performance, aesthetics and exclusivity. But behind the design, these high performance machines undergo some of the most rigorous crash testing in the automotive world. In today's video, we're going to dive into how crash tests for supercars and hypercars are done, why they're critical and the unique challenges these cars face in terms of safety. Every car from everyday sedans to the most exclusive hypercars has to undergo crash testing before it can be sold to the public. These tests are designed to simulate real world collisions, ensuring that a vehicle performs safely in the event of an accident. In the United States, agencies like the National Highway Traffic Safety Administration and the Insurance Institute for Highway Safety conduct tests such as frontal crashes, side impact crashes and rollover simulations. These tests help assess a car's structural integrity, airbag effectiveness and the ability to protect passengers during a crash. But when we talk about supercars and hypercars, things get a little different. These cars are not built for typical consumer standards. They're often lighter, lower to the ground and feature materials that make traditional crash tests difficult to apply. Supercars and hypercars are designed with performance in mind, which means they often use materials like carbon fiber, lightweight alloys and advanced aerodynamics. While these materials are excellent for speed and handling, they pose unique challenges when it comes to crash testing. For example, carbon fiber is incredibly strong but brittle. In a crash, it may shatter in ways that traditional steel frames don't. This could make it harder to absorb energy in a crash, potentially increasing the risk of injury. However, manufacturers like Ferrari, McLaren and Bugatti have to figure out how to strengthen these materials in a way that still allows the car to maintain its signature lightweight and aerodynamic properties. Supercars may not always have the highest crash safety rating in a traditional sense, but that doesn't mean they are without safety features. In fact, supercar manufacturers often go above and beyond when it comes to incorporating advanced technology to ensure their cars can handle extreme speeds and provide protection in the event of a crash. Take for instance, the carbon fiber monocoque, a single piece frame used in cars like the McLaren P1. This technology is not only lightweight, but incredibly rigid, offering additional protection to the driver in the event of a crash. Another example is the Bugatti Chiron, which integrates active safety systems that are designed to keep the car stable at incredibly high speeds, including rear wheel steering, electronic stability control, and sophisticated braking systems that help avoid collisions altogether. Unlike standard vehicles, supercars and hypercars aren't always subjected to the same official crash tests as mass marketed vehicles, while brands like Ferrari, Lamborghini and Bugatti do have to adhere to certain safety regulations, the cars are often tested in-house before they hit the market. Their testing protocols might not be as widely publicized, but rest assured, these cars undergo exhaustive safety simulations and crash tests. For instance, the Ferrari 488 Pista underwent over 1,000 crash simulations before it was approved for production. These tests are not just about the structure of the car, but also how well the car responds to real world accident scenarios. Like what happens when a car hits an obstacle at 200 miles per hour, or how the car system reacts when it's involved in a high speed rollover. In fact, some hypercar manufacturers will even run high speed tests in controlled environments like the desert or remote proving grounds to see how their cars handle collisions at extreme speeds. These tests push the boundaries of what's possible in crash safety, constantly evolving to protect passengers in the most unforgiving of conditions. In today's automotive landscape, advanced driver assistance systems play a critical role in preventing accidents before they happen. Supercars are no exception. Many of these cars come equipped with features like automatic emergency braking, adaptive cruise control, lane keeping assist and collision detection sensors. These systems not only improve the overall safety of the car, but also help prevent accidents at high speeds, where even a slight mistake can lead to disaster. Some manufacturers have even begun testing autonomous technology in supercars 
Imagine a Ferrari 812 Superfast driving itself on a racetrack, using onboard sensors to avoid other vehicles and obstacles. This kind of technology could revolutionise the way we think about car safety, especially in high performance vehicles, where split second reactions can mean the difference between life and death. But some of the purists don't like the computer aided assistance in a race car. They want it to be the human touch. They want to feel the connection with the car. They don't want the computer to do all the work. Supercars and hypercars are engineered to go much faster than ordinary cars, and that creates a unique set of challenges. At 200 miles per hour, for example, even the slightest miscalculations in aerodynamics or vehicle dynamics can result in catastrophic consequences. Testing these cars at such high speeds requires specialized facilities, often located on private racetracks or even airstrips. The famous high-speed crash tests for the Bugatti Veyron and the McLaren Speedtail, for instance, tested how the cars reacted to extreme braking at top speed. These tests are performed to ensure that the car's braking systems can bring it to a complete stop without failure. After all, stopping a 1500 horsepower machine traveling at over 250 miles per hour isn't something most vehicles are capable of handling without special modifications. At the end of the day, supercar and hypercar manufacturers face a unique set of challenges when it comes to crash testing. While these vehicles may not always have the same crash safety ratings as more common cars, they are equipped with some of the most advanced safety features and undergo extensive testing to ensure that they are as safe as possible in extreme conditions. The technology and materials used in these cars may make crash testing more complicated, but they also pave the way for future enhancements in automotive safety across the board. So next time you see a supercar or hypercar on the road, remember that behind the shiny exterior and thrilling performance lies an incredible amount of engineering focused on safety, sometimes even at 200 miles per hour. One of the unique challenges of crash testing supercars and hypercars lies in the material used to build them. Unlike regular cars, which are primarily made of steel and aluminium, high performance vehicles often rely on exotic materials like carbon fiber, titanium and advanced composites. These materials are chosen for their strength to weight ratio, but they behave very differently under impact. For example, carbon fiber is incredibly strong, but it doesn't deform like metal. Instead, it shatters and splinters, absorbing energy through breakage. While this provides excellent protection for the occupants, it makes crash testing more complex. Engineers need to understand how these materials will fail and ensure that their failure patterns don't compromise safety. This often means testing and retesting prototypes to refine their crash structures. Additionally, the repairability of these materials is a concern. After a crash, repairing or replacing a carbon fiber monocoque, for example, can be extremely expensive and time consuming. This adds another layer to complexity to ensuring these cars not only meet safety standards, but also practical to own and maintain. Modern crash testing relies heavily on advanced sensors and data analysis, especially for supercars and hypercars. During a crash test, Cars are equipped with hundreds of sensors that measure everything from acceleration and deceleration to the force applied to various parts of the car. This data is crucial for understanding how the car performs under extreme conditions. While supercars go a step further, engineers often employ high-speed cameras and LiDAR technology to capture every millisecond of the crash. These tools allow them to analyze how the car's frame and materials absorb impact energy and how their safety systems deploy in real time. This level of detail is necessary to ensure that every safety feature from airbags to seatbelt pretensioners function perfectly in a real world scenario. For example, in hypercars equipped with specialized racing seats, engineers need to ensure that these seats not only hold the driver in place during high speed cornering, but also protect them during an impact. Sensors embedded in the seats and harness provide data on how well they distribute force and prevent injuries. Crash testing supercars also comes with emotional and financial costs. These vehicles are often meticulously handcrafted, with each prototype costing millions of dollars to produce. 
Watching one of these masterpieces get destroyed in a crash test isn't just difficult to stomach, it's a significant financial hit for the manufacturer. Take for example limited edition hypercars, where only 50 or 100 units might be made. Sacrificing even a single prototype for testing purposes can feel like a monumental loss, yet it's a necessary step to ensure that these cars meet safety standards and protect their drivers. There's also an emotional element for the engineers and designers involved. Many of them have spent years perfecting every detail of these vehicles, only to see their work smashed to pieces in a matter of seconds. But they understand that these sacrifices are crucial for innovation and safety. So if you enjoyed that video, feel free to leave a like and subscribe, and we'll see you in the next one.